Now, if elected, you would be the first unmarried president in a long, long time. Well, there was one before. The, the, the swearing in is until uh, the 21st of January 2021. That's you right. You never know what might happen between <laughs> That's now and right. then. That's yes. right. Because you are seeing someone. I am. And it's someone very famous. It's somebody very special. Very special. And uh, I don't want to embarrass her because she's, she's looking at me right now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> she's looking at me. Uh, Rosario Dawson is here. And yeah. she's uh, in the audience. It's love. It's love, I tell you. Isn't it wonderful in the midst of a bitter, cynical political campaign, Cory Booker has found true love with a woman. I was told that you write love poems. I do. Is, is that true, Rosario? I, it does, do. love poems. When do you have the time to do anything? When you have uh, somebody in your life that inspires you as much as she does. Really? Yeah, she, she inspires me a lot. How do Oh, isn't that cute? He writes love poems to Rosario Dawson. And who better to confess your love for a woman to than RuPaul? So, so uh, it came out recently that, uh, that you're dating uh, Rosario Dawson, right? Yes. And uh, so I'm sure that was something that y'all were trying to keep very private. And then she opened her big mouth and, and no, no, she, no, got, she, she got blabbed it. No, I know what happened. Um, you know, she we she was visiting me in D.C. and then she left to the airport and uh, she got a ambushed at the airport. And right. I, I suddenly get this uh, little video from her saying, "I got TMZ and I don't have makeup on. I this and this and that." But she knew that it was. But she it was wonderful and and yeah. she's just a, an incredible human being. Yeah, uh, I think that it's great. I mean, I, it's it's wonderful that y'all are dating and and I know it's hard because she's going to be. Watched and, and you know everything that that she does, everything you do. People are watching you. Yeah, and it's 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 as our relationship grows, it's difficult. But she is just a deep, full, deeply soulful person, yeah, and is. has taught me a lot of lessons in, about love already. And that sometimes you show the greatest strength when you make yourself vulnerable. And uh, you know she's really it has this nurturing spirit that's made me more courageous, not just in the love that I project and want to see in our country, but I think even in our personal relationships to love more fearlessly. So I'm very, very blessed with, to be with somebody That's that really makes, sweet. makes me a better That's person. That's really sweet. Yeah. So now that would be an amazing wedding to have in the White House. I mean, if you go in single and then you have a wedding in the White House, I mean, we would watch. That, so, would, be <laughs> like, that would be like our royal wedding. That so, would be great. <laughs> So you're saying if Rosario and I get uh, get there, wait. Don't do the marriage before. Uh, For sure. 20, yeah, uh, wait and have a big thing and do it. In the, yeah, and sweeps and it, it would be really important. Would you would you help uh, preside over the wedding? I would do. It? Yes, I'd be a big part of that. Is yes. that a, is that a, is that a problem? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. All, right. Okay. All right. All right. Wow. How can you get more romantic than a White House wedding presided over by Ellen DeGeneres? It's so wonderful. So you would be the first uh, unmarried president in over 130 years. Um, what are the odds that we would see a wedding in the White House? Uh, <laughs> I, I am. Would you I guys am, like that? I am worried about where this is going. Is this CNN or TMZ? <laughs> <laughs> it's CNN. You guys want to know, right? Yeah. There you go. They want to know. I, I have an incredible uh, girlfriend. Uh, she's just simply amazing. And I am hopeful as is my mother. Yeah. <laughs> and that is Rosario Dawson. Yes. All right. So you get, you've been dating. You called her. You said recently that she'd be an incredible first lady. Well, I, I, I want you to know that let's not get ahead of us right now. She is, an, <laughs> she, is an, she is an incredible girlfriend. I'm very lucky to be in a relationship with yeah. someone who is just so incredibly special, uh, but more importantly, has taught me so much in a very short period of time. I ask you because um, you've been very open about it as, as has she. <laughs> uh, so we so, met again, and uh, I had one of those really awkward experiences. I'm a United States senator, and... Uh, <laughs> had to get up the courage to walk up to her and ask her for her phone number. <laughs> um, and, and this is not, doesn't make me nervous, but that made me nervous. And, she, and she, gave, she gave me the phone number. All right, yeah. man. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. I'm sure you would like to get back I to the like audience. I would like to get back to the policy, please. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> please. So we um, have CN Oh, this makes me feel so warm and cuddly inside. And is it too much to expect? A White House wedding presided over by Ellen DeGeneres with Don Lemon serving as best man. Ooh!